We are so excited to share with you our extreme, extreme son's bedroom makeover. There's so much to show you in this video. Yes. We did everything from painting an accent wall to building train shelves to going on Facebook Marketplace. And you know, my favorite part was when we took up that nasty carpet in there yeah. and replaced <laughs> it with Procore Plus Final Plank Flooring. I want to thank Procore Surfaces for providing the flooring for us to review with you guys. Once again, thank you DIY PC family for all your support. And remember, you, you can, can DIY, DIY too. too. And you know what? In 2022, we have something special for you guys. It is our first ever giveaway. Giveaway. And we are going to be giving away a $100 gift card to Lowe's <laughs> so that we can help you with your bedroom makeover. So be sure to stay till the end of the video to get all of the contest giveaway rules. Home improvement. With love. This room was overdue for a makeover and my son was ready to claim it as his own. We did so much that we broke this DIY project down into phases. Our son requested a stripe on his accent wall and a place for his trains. So we took out the painter's tape, patched the wall and began to paint. Painting is one of the best parts of home improvement for our kids. This was definitely a family project. Me and the kids paint the low areas while dad paints up high. We wanted a way to store all of our son's trains. After looking on Amazon and in stores, we decided to build our own shelves. Dad took leftover planks from our flooring project in the living room and added our son's old train rails to it. What was cool is that we could customize these shelves to whatever length. Since we already had the materials, all we needed to buy were the brackets. This DIY project came in under $30. Our kids don't realize it, but we're teaching them new skills with this makeover. There's something about trains that both of my guys really like. If you'd like to see the entire process of how we built these train shelves, we'll leave a link in the description. We then had to remove this huge fan where two out of the four lights never worked. I had no idea how to take it down, so I just started unscrewing things. As you can see, this 52 inch flush mount fan is way too bulky for this room. It's okay to start DIY projects with no directions, but make sure you turn off that electricity. Meanwhile, our son decided he wanted his favorite color cyan in his room, so I'm repainting his stripes. We headed over to Lowe's and found a smaller 44 inch fan that was also flush mounted. We liked that it had a sleek design and LED lights. This would be perfect in his room. This ceiling fan was much lighter and it kind of gave off that airplane propeller vibe that we knew our son would like. We like controlling the airflow with the remote instead of pulling those old chains. My second favorite part of this makeover was removing the carpet. Our carpet didn't have a lot of stains, it just was old and it seemed to hold on to odor. A very sharp utility knife is one of the best tools for cutting carpet. As we removed each piece of carpet, I was getting happier. I 
I started sneezing when we pulled up the underlayment because it was filled with dust and debris. It felt like the room was airing out as we removed the carpet pad. Having cut resistant gloves protected our hands from the tack strips. We thoroughly cleaned our concrete subfloor to prepare for the underlayment. I'm glad our daughter enjoyed helping us. Underlayment is used as a moisture barrier for concrete subfloors. Because this is a kid's room, we chose underlayment to help reduce the noise when walking on the new flooring. All done, ready for floor angels and laying down planks. We laid out the tiles across the floor you can see we have 18 tiles. We marked where our center would be and then this is where our cut is going to be for the um, threshold and near the closet. We're gonna get our spacers in and get this party started. This is our second time laying plank flooring, so we started at the door openings on this project. This oscillating tool cuts under the door jams so that the planks can easily fit underneath. We wanted to make our hardest cuts at the beginning of the installation. We staggered the planks to give our install a more professional look. The tongues and grooves of vinyl plank flooring are very delicate. We had a chipped plank and we wanted to see if it would still interlock. We carefully folded the plank down and used a mallet and a spare piece to tap it into place. We also used a pull bar to gently pull the planks into each other and secure the joints. With a little extra patience, it worked out fine. In our opinion, the hardest part of installing vinyl plank flooring is knowing where to start. The fact that they are both stain and scuff resistant while being waterproof really appeals to us for our son's bedroom. It will be easier for him to clean and it doesn't hold in odors. These planks have a built-in underlayment and are wide. When we were handling them, we could tell they were durable. I'm glad that I could use the utility knife to score them and then snap them easily. You can see the entire installation in our flooring video. For long cuts, I had to use my circular saw. Overall, this product worked well for us. So what do you guys think about this vinyl plank flooring? Gray is my favorite color, so I like the way the flooring looks and how it works with the rest of the room.
We finished the flooring and realized we don't have a bed for our son. We looked everywhere for a bed. We were surprised at the prices and the fact that we couldn't find a twin bed made out of solid wood. We finally found one on Facebook Marketplace. We were so excited to get it home, but then realized this thing is heavy. But the bed actually fit in with the theme of this room. The headboard had a barnyard slash train look to it. My kids painted it the scion color my son wanted while I painted the rest of the bed frame. Hubby and the kids did a great job customizing a marketplace find. Dad was getting the other wall together while I was going on a search for bedding. I wanted to make sure his grandfather's sports shadow box was level. We went on Amazon and our son picked out some of his decor online. I like these cubbies because you can make two compartments out of one. The nice thing about this shoe rack is that you have the option for slanted shelves when you're putting it together. A nice feature is that it has this top shelf. We used it as a mini charging station and to display one of his train station towers. I'll leave some of the links to those products below. Can you believe I found this cyan colored laundry basket at Walmart to fit perfectly with the colors in his room? This extreme bedroom makeover was quite a journey. With natural sunlight, his flooring has gray tones, and at night it has more brownish rustic tones. We really like the transformation of updated lighting, removing old carpet, an accent wall, new train shelving, a custom solid wood bed, and new vinyl plank flooring. So the big question is, does our son like it? Yes, I absolutely love it. The best part of my room is my trains. Thanks, Mom and Dad. We are pumped about this giveaway. For legal purposes, I think I'm supposed to say YouTube in no way is affiliated with this giveaway. You can enter this giveaway in three easy steps. One, subscribe to our channel at DIY Power Couple. Number two, comment on this video by answering the question, what is your next DIY project? And number three, click on our website link to go to the giveaway tab and enter your contact information. You must have a valid email address to win. And that's it. A copy of the official rules will be in the description below. We will announce the winner on our YouTube channel one week from the day this video is posted. DIY Power Couple YouTube channel is your source to help you unleash your inner DIY power.